Oh, look at that forecast. Clear weather. Nice. All right, I'll move this thing. I made this with the presumption that I could move it. Hopefully I don't hit any wind on the way. It's not going very far. I grabbed a few bricks. Put under the thing. Oh, I'm starting to race here. I gotta chill out, go slowly and methodically one step at a time or else I'm going to make mistakes. Yes, it's the first sunny day in two weeks, but there's supposed to be a whole week of this. So Jamie, chill out. Yeah, okay. Got my bricks in place. I have a smoky fire to keep away any potential bugs. Now let's get that sucker on the bricks. Jim that up. Now hopefully this front line is lined up with that back line. Mm, looks pretty good. Yeah. I waxed the thing this morning again. It's got like eight layers of wax on it. You should be very good at releasing the fiberglass. Uh, I think next I need to make PVC strips that are going to go across to make little uh, thingies. And I'm going to cut this with this. that's enough it can be a little bit flexible it just basically needs to hold the shape all right it's time to make final decision on how many layers of fiberglass everything is going to be I think what I'm going to do is put maybe four layers on the sides three layers no four layers anywhere one of these is so two layers under two layers above and then one one layer everywhere else. So first I'll do two layers around everything where everything's, you know, where these go and around the sides. Then I'm going to take these things, put them in place, and then put one full layer across the whole thing. And then maybe one more layer. I don't know. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, there's three layers of the matte fiberglass. Ah, oh, and this is the end of my roll of the woven stuff. Not 280 centimeters. I don't even need to measure it to know that. All right, I have another full roll at the other island. I'm gonna go get it. Not quite perfect. A few little bubbles here and there, but. Uh, should be fine. No, it didn't really come out that easily. I already pried it out. Well, it looks pretty good. This one only needs to be half the length 
because it's going to go next to the glass solar panel, which doesn't need one of these because it has a frame of its own. And uh, this time I'm going to put the woven stuff down first because on the last one, I put this down after all these silly strips and stuff. And it's such a pain in the butt getting that stuff to conform to curves and stuff. <clears throat> Unless you've all, unless you've got it like all in there perfectly before you start the resin. So if I put it in there first, you know, I can get it all flattened out perfectly, stuffed into the corners there. Now it doesn't have to move at all. I can just get the resin on it and I don't have to worry about it. The thing is it doesn't stretch like at all. So it can be difficult if you have a part that's too tight. You can't get it to... Okay. Anyway. Uh, okay, resin on here. Then slap on the silly sticks, one, two, three, and then I have my strips here, and some strips over there, and yeah, okay. Well, that one came out a lot neater. No bubbles on that sucker. I used two and a half gallons of resin on this and that guy, which leaves me five and a half, because I had eight. Uh, so I'm going to be a little bit short if I go at the same rate, although I got more efficient with my usage on this one. And on the side flappy panels, I'm not going to have those side things because they have to be more flat. I might have enough to make it. Now I'm ready for one of the side panels. And this is going to be kind of tricky because I can't have this flat edge um, up against the other one because it won't be able to tilt down. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the resin all along here, and then we're going to take these two strips, put them on there, get them nice and soaked with resin as quickly as possible so they don't harden while I'm doing this. Then I take this, put it in here, flap that over it, resin it, and then just can carry on. Now the tricky part is I have to get... I have to get all the resin under this, then this in place, then this over and down before the first bit of resin I put down dries. Because at first I'm going to have to resin like right up to here. Because I'm not going to be able to get my roller, you know, in behind this thing. As long as I can do that, this should go well. Oh yeah! Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm right in the sun. <sighs> if I could just get it to go more that way behind this tree. Hmm, I don't really want to wait an hour, though. Oh, I could pick up the whole thing and move it over there, I guess. Well, that's kind of a pain, but... <sighs> yeah, it's probably worth it. Oh, that worked pretty well. Next, I need strips to go from here down to there and taper as they go down so they're really skinny at this end. Five of them I think. I think that's a job for tomorrow. Well, I kind of got a lot done today. Yeah I might even be able to get all those done tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain tonight.